מאיר, הלו? בסדר, אני מתחיל שיעור עכשיו, מה אני יכול לעזור לך? אני לא שומע. אימא באמצע שיעור, בזום. לא שומע חצי מ... בסדר, אוקיי, לטעות, שלום. אוקיי, let's start. אוקיי. אוקיי, so I sent you all the, um, the, uh, the uh, whatever uh, sheets you have over there. You have the Chumash, the Ramban, and you have a, an Ahmed Gemur in uh, Sanhedrin, and you have some Mashi Lech. So we're going to start today by just doing the Chumash to understand exactly what happened there. It's only after we can discern what actually happened then we'll have to go more in deeper insights. So to understand this whole reality, I guess we have to go to the end of Pasha's Balak to Bar Midbar Chavhei, Pasik Aleph. As far as I'm concerned, this could be interactive. Anybody has any remarks to make or answers to questions asked, please uh, show your faces. And, um, you know, you can keep your, you can unmute yourself if you're interested. Okay, so the Pasuk says in Perik Chav Hei, of Amid Bar Vayeshiv Yisrael B'Shitim, and the Israelites resided in Shitim, Yochel Ha'am Liznois, and the nation, fornicating Yisrael, they were, were Liznois El, means Acharei, they were following, they were following, they started actually following a relationship of fornication with the um, Moabite, uh, um, women. La'am, and these women called, or rather invited, to the people to partake in the, um, in the sacrifices of their, uh, of, of the local gods. He equals the Abba Yedizor. They called them to the sacrifices. Now, it doesn't say that they sacrificed. They called the parties. If they committed the battle, you know, if they made some if they things were just slaughtered for Abba Yedizor, doesn't mean you didn't need survey the Zorah. And the Am partook of that, of, of the party. Which is an interesting reality. They were invited to a party of Zivche Zvachim of Avay the Zorah, and they took part of the party. And then the natural reaction was that they bowed down to these Avay the Zorahs, which is actually, if you think of it very typically, it reminds us of the Allah that we are, uh, we, we're Oisha Pitam Viyenam. Mishum Elohim, that the Israel the Rabbanu we have of a Pas Akum or Yein Akum, not just Yein Nesach, Yein Akum, but I could do Chayshish LeBnei Seim for Elohim. Pasuk says that a Shitzah that you should be not don't marry a Shitzah because Pentos a Bin Chama Achira, because she will take your child and take him away from God. That's the halacha that we learned that a the child born by a not Jewish lady has a din of a goy. He's taken away from God. And the, also, the, the, if you see the Pusik there, you'll see it because you're afraid that you will also be assimilated. But this is what happened here. But the Kernel Am, these women called the nation, the Zivchel Lahem, to partake in this Vachim of their, I'm trying to learn this without Rashi, without, without, without Medrash, with this Vachim of their Lord gods, Vayochel Am, and they ate, partook of the Seuda, Vayishtach Leloyayan, and they actually bowed down and prostrated to the Gods, which this was an issue of a desert. Yishtach Lelohem is an issue of a desert, because one of the Chamesh Avoyes, which are us, which are Mechaev Misa, is Yishtach Voya. And then there's a verb here, Vayitzamed Yisrael Lebalpor, and Yisrael clinged or cleaved, was Davuk to Balpor, that was the name of the deity, Vayichar Af Hashem Be Yisrael, and God is very angry, or had wrath, shall we say, in the Israelites. So it seems to be how many things happened here? They started with Znus, continued with partaking in a Suda of a, a Suda of Zivcha Vedizora, which they partook. Then they actually prostrated themselves and they were Mishtakvil Avedizora. Which of these things is the Chi of Misa? If you look at it very carefully, well, Abayel Aramis is not a Chi of Misa. It's only a Lacha that in the Zman, when you are at the point in time when you're in the uh, in the act of coitus, when you're in, during the sexual encounter, 
So the halach is that akanoi can be pagay, it can kill you, you and her. Okay, that's what they can do. But if, for example, if you stopped, the halach is that no, you can't touch you. More of that, you're called a right if you're a kanoi. It's not a chi of misa. The din is that if, if hypothetically, if this Baila Ramis turns around and shoots the uh, the kanoi, he's okay because he's called a nirdof. And the right and, and the kanoi is called a right if the Baila Ramis kanoi point with the chi of misa. It's a heter etzicha. That's the din. The Gemara says it before. She ilu nepach zimri v'horag lepinchas be okay. Why? Because pinchas was a raidiv. Elamites a raidiv berushus. Kanayim paying a boy. So that's this was obviously not a chiyav misa. But you. So this is a pasuk like this chatan bam. You're not that to have beer with them. Their chasnus is a mer in, in a mer in a marriage arrangement. But stam deres nus, that's not the issue de raisa of like this chasten them. So what exactly did they do wrong? <laughs> this liznes, at the moment, doesn't seem to be anything. It, it may be not nice, maybe whatever it be, we'll see. But l'chur is part of the pure lavim, chiyuv of misa. There's no chiyuv misa. Achilam is not a chiyuv misa. Achila mizibcha by the zor is not a chiv misa. So what's left is the ishtachvoya. The ishtachvoya is a mechayv of misa. Yet there is another. There's another verb here, which says in Israel it's cleaved to Baal Pa'or. And this seems how this is what brought up the wrath of God, as we'll see in a minute. You can look at the next pasuk. The next pasuk of Ayemer Hashem El Moshe. This was a nevua kachas called Rashi Am. Must take all the heads of the nation, which means the sorry I love him and the sorry mayor means the shaved him is brought down in Rashi. Rashi um, means this, 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 we're talking about Sanhedrin. Hoka means to hang. It means to say that after you kill them, you have to hang. That we Jews crucify people. We don't kill through crucifixion, but we crucify the, the carcasses of the Abba Mises beds and we hang them up until the night. This is a and Chumash, you must be aware. As, as opposed to the Romans, which would nail up a body and a person, he would die because of whatever, whatever, with his blood circulation created a heart attack. We're not going into that. But, but the, here we took a dead person of Skiv, the Shreif, the and Chenek, and we hung him up until Shkir. That's what the Pasik says, that you lay sold in the Vlasiad Baika, that's the mucker of a. Of Kvura, you have to. We link Kvura from the mitzvah of burying the uh, Haruge Bezdin. It's also Igmar and Sanhedrin. So we see this is what does God say? You should kill them and then hang them up. Like Hashem in the Chavad HaKadosh Bokhul and Neged Hashem is following the sun equals until the Shkia. The Yashayv Charen Af Hashem Bisro, then God will be happy. The Charen Af, the wrath will subside. So it seems to me there's a certain charen off, and God says to Moshe, kill them and string them. Now, who's the them? So Moshe says, Vayemer Moshe, shape to Yisrael. These are obviously the Rashi Am. So the Pasta describes who are they. Moshe then talks to the shape to Yisrael. Here, Gu Ish Anashav. Each person should kill his people equals his shavit. Or since the story, I love him. He that both in his, I love him. Because they are so, as we learned, we learned that in Parshish Yisrael, that every the bells did in were going to the Shvatim, and then there was the, the going to Mayor, Sasoris, etc. So it's Ish, he uh, saw the Shvat, it doesn't mean he personally killed, it means what does it mean over here? Is he was done to the Shaiftim. So what was it done to the Shaiftim? Shaiftim means they have to done. They have to look If we point out these Rashi Am, we're not just like the Levim who went out killing the Oivda, uh, we deserve by the Eagle. Here we have specifically a Maisa Bezdin. You must kill, each, each person must kill his people, his clientele. The cleave to Balpur. Is this a, is this a different word for Yishtachvoya? Why is it that the Shiv Misa, so I understand you need a Bezdin for Bez for Avoid Zara, that's a Dabar Pashit, a Bezdin Shochav Gimel. You need Asra and Adim. Is this what happened here? Is this what, what the request was? It was an issue of of a desire? Uh, If that's the case, I mean, uh, it shouldn't just be because the charin af Hashem, you're mechuiv to be shayfer daif oiv daif oiv desire. 
So why is he telling you using the verb of nitzmadim? What is the idea of nitzmadim? You are cleaving. Now, it can't possibly mean an emotional reality that not only did you bow down, but you actually emotionally cleaved it to the Avodah Zorah. You felt a, a um, spiritual connection, whatever you're going to call that. That is something which is muscle alive. And since it's muscle alive, it obviously is not something the Bezin can deal with. And we're talking to Shoftim. So if the, if the Shoftim must be something tangible and visible, and you can actually discern and see, it's a mice of Bezin. So what does it mean? It's modim la This is the question on the table. It seems to be it's not the ishtachvaya. According to that, when it says in pasukim like it's somebody you saw the bal poor, the issue was not the ishtachvaya or the ayoyachalam. What is the vayit samid the bal poor? What is this verb that they did? Which because of that there's a charein amashem apashem, and because of that God tells me that tells Moshe that the anshas and sedrin should verify this stuff. Who is this Nitzma Dlbalpar? And then they should be killed. I need one Nakuda to which is very clear. I don't know if you know this, I don't know if you ever learned Sanhedrin. But the din is, for example, that there's two functions in Bezdin. Fun, fun, Bezdin obviously is the one that carries out the Gemara din, the Psak. But beforehand, it has to be the Matthias. Now, the Allah is that he touches this in Sanhedrin. That even the place where the psak gemar din is not a gemar din of bezin. For example, a a a married b'malchus, the married b'malchus is killed by saif. Doesn't matter what he did, he's killed the melech. That's what he wants to do. It's not a ma'isa bezin the ariga the married married b'malchus. Afo pikei, you need twenty three dayanim to verify that he was a married b'malchus. One, you have to the beer of the mitzvahs of the chiv misa is mechayv twenty three. I want you to understand that. So it means it's a maisa bezna the beer. That doesn't mean that the chiv was a chiv because of, uh, of a practical halach. For all as I know, the chiv could be for reason A, B, C, or D. Any uh, any action which, uh, which 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 ends with a potential um, loss of life is, is to verify it needs to have gimel. This is Taisvis twice in Sanhedrin. It's also a Ramban. So let's understand, we're talking, we're asking them to verify something that we take the Rosh Hashanah, they're supposed to take the 23 people and verify who did, who, who, who did what. That's what you have to do. This is another Machlekes of Rabbi Nusad Yigoyen and, uh, and Ramban. Again, Rabbi Nusad Yigoyen believes that Kabbalah say this would be enough with two. You don't need 23. The Gemar Din needs for 23, but the Ramban argues. The Ramban says, Mephusha, you need a couple of says of 23. So according to the Ramban, when it says that you should heal Guish Ben Oshav, it means to say what? Does it mean to say that you have to, uh, you, you, you have to be, be, make a Gzar Din of Misa? First, after you verified, what is that? Since when did we call a Lashain of, uh, of Misa Bezdin? To, uh, for an Einish of a desire, we call it Hirgu. Never heard of this before. Shiftu, Danu, Dunu. Where is this together of Hirgu? What's the shot that you're supposed to verify? You bring Shaitim and tell them walk around like a bunch of vigilantes. That doesn't add up. What is the makam of the Shaitim here? And what there is the reason it's Madan Labalpar. What exactly is the story here? So to understand the word of Nitzmadim, interesting, none of the the only Rishon which deals with it is the Ibn Ezra. Now, if you have it in what I sent you, you look at the Ibn Ezra and Pasuk Gimel on the Yitzhame Yisrael. So the Ibn Ezra writes, uh, This comes out of the idea of the word, it's the same usage that we find in a couple a couple of, of, uh, of animals, of, of bulls, cows. When you bunch together two animals, you tie them together to plow or a wagon, it's called lead samet, semet. Semet means they are now together, they're cleaved, they're connected. Okay, but it's samet, he connected, he cleaved, he coupled. Now then he has the word, who did he couple with? The Pasuk says he coupled with uh, Baal Pa'or. What is it, Benazir, right? Vatam, and the reason of it being used here, Hanashim, we're talking about the women. Which women? We're talking about the women of the Bnei Shmayaf. Zokti Rashi, Zokti Ben Ezra, Hinei Nitzmudu Imam. They cleaved with them, equals this Imam. Well, that means, who's the they cleaved with them? And one part was the women, the other part was the uh, arm, which was Mazana with the women. Those people that engaged in a sexual encounter with the Bnei Shmayaf, they became a summit. 
What was their tzemet? Zotay Benazir Nitzmadu Imam Ledas Pa'or. They cleave to Das Pa'or. Implication being that we're not talking about the Ishtachvaya, we're talking specifically about the Bi'ilas Aramis. And the Pasik, according to Ibn Ezra, is describing that the Hitzamdu Labal Pa'or is the idea of, what, of the Aramis, of, of having the sexual encounter with the Shittis. And this is what God had bothered God most. And that was the Haran Af Hashem, and that was the Shchi of Misa. Now, where do we get this idea of, it says, when you cleave to a woman in a sexual encounter, how is that perceived as cleaving to their God? And that's what you have to understand. So this is a Mufushi Gemara. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, you have it in your sheet. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin, Daf Pei Beis Amid Aleph. Dr. Gemara, this is the Mishnah in Pei Aleph and Bey describing the din of a boil around his canoe in Pei Gimbai. And the Gemara says uh, as follows. There's a few things here. First of all, the Gemara says, what he did if he didn't, if the canoe didn't get him. He did what he did, but you know, he finished before the canoe came. So the Gemara says, this is a postic in Malachi where it says, Bogda Yehuda. Judea, Judea had been treacherous, but to even as by Israel, Ubiushalaim, an abomination has occurred or was done in Israel and Jerusalem. Yehuda Kaidish Hashem for Yehuda in Judea, these those Jews that engaged in this activity had desecrated the sanctity of God, Asher Ahav, the God that loved him, and he went and he basically polluted him. He was sanctity, he was Machan Lushem Shemayim. Why? Uba'al bas el mechor, and he um and he had a sexual encounter with the daughter of a of, of a foreign uh, power equals another god of a desert. What does this mean? So the Gemara continues and says, what does this mean? Yeah, what happens to this person? The pasuk says afterwards, Yachret Hashem leisha sheyasana erva ina, which means to say the Gemara explained that he has a chiyah chorus. We know there's two things which have a chi of Korah, which are not written in the Chumash, but we know it from the Nevi'im. It's the Nevi'im. It is a Bailamis. It's a chi of Korah from the Nevi'im Kabbalah, from the Navi, because the Pasuk says, Yachres, Hashem, after we read the following Pasuk, after we're Bailah, Bas Bal Necher, Yachres, Hashem, Laish, Asher Yasana Erva Eina. Which means to say you will have no children at all. You will die. You, this is chorus va'ariri. You have chorus, you die young with, and childless because you are boil a basel necha. That's a vashteta. That's number one. Now, why is that so terrible? Why is boil arams if lechera does no mufurisha lav on it? It seems to be something horrendous that you have in chorus with the rikabala. The only lav that we have on it, if you do it, derech chasnus, it's hot. But the issue to do it without their chastos, the chastos is not explicit, there's no malchus. And yet there's a chorus, which is very unique, a chorus from different Kabbalah. Okay, so to Gemara, Am Reb Chia Bar Avuya, Kol Aboal HaKusis, Ki Ilu Mishchatn Ba'avodis Kechavim. Tuxiv Uboal Bas El Nechor. He had a relationship with the daughter of a foreign god. Does this foreign god have a daughter? So he says, yes. He who has a coitus relationship with a kusis, this is the equivalent of Boal Bas El Lechor. Now let's read the Rambam on this Nakuda. The Rambam writes in Hilchis Yisuri Bia in Perik Yud Beis. I'm going to write some Perik Yud Beis as follows. In Allah Chadal Yud, it's called Aboyel Goya Ben Der Chasnus Ben Der Znus. However, you do it in Bala before Heshiv. You did this publicly. Vahushi Vole Ene
as Shem Yisrael, there are ten people. If they, if they're worthy, that's how Allah Chavayin Ma'irin came. Davar Zeh Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina. This is Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina. Veraya with Davar Zeh. How do we know about this? Ma'isa Pinchas Bezimri. We conclude that Pinchas would not have done this unless this was a Allah Chah. And since we don't find it in the Mikra anywhere, the conclusion is it's the from Pinchas. We realize that Moshe brought it down as Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina. Just like, for example, Shur Kezayis is Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina. The Reboah of Tefillin is Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina. Allah Chalam Aishim Ma'isina means any Allah directive which has no source at all in the Mikra, as the Ramam explains in the Agdama to Pirusha Mishnah. So this is a Allah which has no source in the Mikra. We know it's a riot. That's what Ramam doesn't say. It's a Makar. If it would be a Makar, it wouldn't be a Lacham Hashem Sinai. A Makar would mean to say it has a source in the Mikra. No, we have a riot in the Mikra that he already acted upon it, although there was no source in the Mikra. That's why it's called Lacham Hashem Sinai. Then he says, the next Allah in a canoe will show the way of a hand, El Bishas Masek, his Imri. You can only touch this fellow with fornicating during the act of coitus. Abu Impirish, if he moved away, he finished, Ain or Gimoto. Vim or go, Neragala. If you kill him after he finished, then you were Hive Misk, you're a regular right, you're a regular at Sech. Vim Brock, canoe with the Rishus, the Bezan Hogger, Ain Myron like. If he asked permission from Bezdin, we will not rule on this. We will not say a word. We do not give such a ruling. There's no ruling, go do a Maisha Ritzicha. A Maisha Ritzicha, there's no ruling. There's no halacha. There's no chiyav anish misa. If the kanoi came to kill the boy, and the boy, and the boy, Someone released himself, and he killed the canoe. Why? Then the boil is free because he was a near death, and the canoe is a right The full. Now, what's the Allah is at the Rambam? If he didn't get the Malchus of Bezin or canoe. Basically, this is a chiv course of Divri Kabbalah. I'd like to tell you one more course from Divri Kabbalah, which is very important. The Gemara all says, All of Amr Akosov, he cursed, he cursed, and nefesh, and he kidvar Hashem bizar. Mara says the person has the capability of learning Taira under normal situations, I will add, okay, outside of the fact that you need, you know, you have work, you have to have a parnatza, etc., and live somewhat of a normal life. Any other minute, just if you could learn and you don't learn, you're high, of course, with different kabbalah. <laughs> so next time you see someone wasting his time and not learning when he could be learning, you can tell you and the Boyal Aramis are in the same category. You both have chorus from different Kabbalah. People aren't aware. They just say brittle tire, brittle tire. It's worse. If you could and you don't, there's a chiv chorus from different Kabbalah. I just wanted to know what this means. People aren't aware of the severity of throwing away their time. Anyway, the Gemara continues, the Ramam continues to explain what is the severity of this, of this Avera. There's no Mrs. Bazin. This, this is not a classical Arias. Why is, the, why is it so severe that you have chorus from the Kabbalah? You don't be light about this Avera. What you lose in this is more than you will lose with all the all, all licentious reality, uh, relationships. Don't have the Hefzid that this has. The son of an Erva is still your child. And he's a Jew. Ubechal Yisoy Yechoshev, and he's a Jew. We offer Pishu Mamzer. He's still a Jew, and he's still a son. But Ben Minagoya ain't a Bnoi. This is not your son. Shenemer Ki Yosher is Bincham Achere Hashem. The Limal boy. He take. He will take your child. The Shiksa will take the child from away from God, and thus you have not to the Meil and the Kaddish Baruch This is the cloud. So what do we have here? What's the getter of Abayel Aramis? It's called Mishaten La'avaydezora. Let me try to explain what this means because this will give us a better insight in this whole thing. 
I'll try to say it in a um, somewhat of an opaque way because I don't think this is not usually something which is Nidrish uh, Rabbi. We know the um, the Gemara says, Kol Hashirim Kaidish, and Shir Hashirim is Kaidish Kedush. The Gemara, the Bekiva said, all the songs in the Mikra are Kaidish, but the, the holiest of the holy, the most beyond, transcendent, beyond Shir is Shir Hashirim. Now you look at Shira Shirim, it's so interesting. <laughs> the Orthodox world we live in is so scared of the young people reading Shira Shirim. So in the art show translation, they literally threw away the literal translation of the Mikra, and they only translated through uh, through Midrashic metaphor. Shlomo Amel didn't mean that. Anshik Des Tadol, they put it into the Chavdal's form, didn't mean that. It's somehow what it is in today's world, you, you're afraid to uh, see what it really is. And I think it's a horrendous thing, and, and those who read that translation are missing the boat. Shir Hashim is literally a beautiful love song, very sensuous love song, somewhat, uh, somewhat erotic, not really but mostly sensuous, a sensuous love song of two people having a very frustrated love relationship where they, where they try their best to meet each other and always just doesn't pan out. It's, a, it's, it's an unbelievable song of, of, of a profound, a deep love, a frustrated love, a love which has not really come to realization. That's really what this is. Whatever it be, I guess that the New York editors of, uh, of our school felt that to introduce this to the young, tender hearts of young 18-year-olds may be uh, may, may, may not good for their Kedusha, whatever it be. And therefore, they decided to translate all It's all true. It's all medrash. But the Peshutah Mitra stays the way it is. What is the idea? Why the Ramam writes in Hitler's Tshuva and Perik Yud, that if he wants to describe what is the love man should have for God. So he literally writes the metaphor, it is the tension of the frustrated love found in Shirim. That's his Lashem. Let me just get, read it to you for a moment. The Rama writes in Perik Yud Hilchis Tshuva, when he describes the, um, what Abbas Hashem means. So he says, What is the proper way of loving God? So he takes for granted he's about to give you a mushal, and there you will take it to the nimshal. So what is the mushal? Something which everybody understands and everybody is able to experience. So he says, You should love God immensely. Atma'od, a very, very, um, uh, very, very, very ferocious love. Achite nafshok shurabavat Hashem till his nefesh, means his sense of self, will be tightly tied up with the idea of God. Benimse shogeh betamid, thus he is constantly thinking about God. He continues, he writes, ki ilu choyli ha'avah, as if he's lovesick. So he took for granted that the person who reads his book knows who lovesick is, not from God, but lovesick to a female. And now he's saying those feelings that you know tangibly, now take that to save the love of God. You always take a look when you have a marshal and you have a nimshal. So what's the mukhash and what's the mupshat? So the mukhash is this. He continues and he writes, um, he continues and he writes, uh, those who are lovesick, they, they, they can't stop thinking of, the, of that lady. Who shall give a tamidi is constantly thinking and contemplating about her. Ben b'shifto, whether he sits, ben b'kumo, whether he stands. Ben b'shashu, chel b'shote, he's constantly engulfed in this feeling of love. It's an obsession. Yet to be said, now do much more than that feeling, which you all understand what it is, being totally engulfed in love and lovesick for a female, so 
which every iota of your existence, you should be embracing God and thinking of him. If love means an un unquenchable desire for constant proximity, every iota of yourself, of your thought, of your time, of every, every, every sinew in your body should be tingling with a quest for constant proximity with God to the extent of somewhat an obsession. This is the Pasuk in Shir Shirim, I know they have a song for this they sing, so this is what it really means. I wish the people would hop with their singing, maybe it would, uh, it would do something. So the Rambam B'chayim understand that God needs, we have to take, we have a mashal, and from the nimsh mashal will chap the nimsh. So by translating Shira Shirim into Midrashim, mit Samakis, mit Matan Taira, I think we're not using the book for the way it's supposed to be. It was made as a marshal to chop the intensity of an emotion by, by sending it off to, to Bible stories. You are not even using the book for the way it's supposed to be used. So why is this called Kaidish Kadashim? Let me explain what this is. You see, everything in this world, there's a very famous Reish's Chachma. Reish's Chachma is your belief, Ilyav Vedish. We're talking about Mi Kadmaine Amakubalim, very famous book that many people um, learn. Actually, during the times of the Belatanya, you weren't allowed to get into Yechidis, into a private audience, before you knew all of Shalah and the Rosh Chachma, and you had a Bechina and Shas. That's when you got to a private audience with the Rebbe. Before that, you went to the, uh, the assistants. He didn't talk to people, didn't have a Bechina and Shas, Shalah and Rosh Chachma. I'm just trying to say, these were very important for him. But uh, by Derek Agav, that's what Chassidus was once like. Okay, then we'll talk weiter. But uh, the Tanya was written for people that were supposed to know Shas. Yeah. Okay, so what is it here over there? Not the Rashi's Chok was something very, very I, I can, I'm not going to take it out in my library now. Uh, some other time, if you remind me, I'll send you the, the exact ver, ver, verse and sentence. He says that whoever, whoever doesn't know, you know what, I am, no, I won't. It's going to take time. Whoever has not experienced the love of a woman, you're like a dumb donkey when it comes to understanding love of God. It means you're totally cal. It means to say you're callous. You have no clue. You're clueless what Avat Hashem means. And he says, it's only once you've experienced the tangible that you can now contemplate to begin to understand that which is transcendent and beyond. It's the God gave certain tools in this world, which, which are a muscle for the nimshal of how we're supposed to be reacting with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. The whole tension that tension between male and female is miyuchod and mizuman. It is kodesh kadashim. It is supposed to be something which is a mashal for the relationship between God and the people who love Him. And if you look at the medrash, you'll see it. They bring all the whole shirashim, the mashal to Yitzchak Mitzrayim, Matan Taira. Yes, the encounter between God and Jews agreed upon. But the Pasuk, the Megillah was written to tell you to wait to really understand this, look in your lives into the sexual or whatever love, emotional intensity, it's there between a Zohar and a Keva, and understand this is a mashal for the nimshal, which is what? Kut Shebrichu with Nishmas Yisrael. That's what it's for. You know, there was a, uh, the Balatanya had a Ben, had a son, he had three sons, but this is the son which is in Malam Makaim, it was in Ilu it was called Reb Doiv Ber. They call him in Lubavitch, the middle Rebbe, the middle Rebbe. This probably came into being when there was a third Rebbe that's emotetic, so they called him the outer Rebbe, the old one. The second one was the middle one, and now they were holding by the third. Well, now we're past the seventh. But that was his kinui, the middle Rebbe, Reb Doiv Ber. Anybody who knows his chassidus 
knows that what his father would write in the page, he would write 60. His depth and his analysis and the scope is like, it's, it's mind boggling. It's really mind boggling. To the extent that mo there are very few people who even decided to master his, his writings because they're simply too long and too deep. Much, much harder than his father's writings. The Mithila Rebbe. So the Mithila Rebbe, he was, uh, you know, he, he used to meditate a lot. There, there, there are stories, I remember as a child, that sometimes he would sit in his chair and you know, you know, all of a sudden he was meditating and he was thinking and he didn't know what was happening around him. And his shamus used to take the swivel chair around the base of Medrash to show the guy, look at the Rebbe. He doesn't see you, but you can see him. He was like, you know, a real, as you would call a space cadet. Well, before he got married, so his father taught him all the kavanais, all the, uh, of the zivug of Ishva Isha. He told them all the nimshol. What is the nimshol of the zivug of Ishva Isha, etc. And, and he was such a holy role. He probably never saw a woman in his life. And he knew all the kavanais. Oh, I'm going to get married and the tabas is, or a saiviv and the chuppah is this and this is this. Don't ask. You know what I mean? He was walking into a meditative spiritual paradise. Okay, and he says Ariadna Kudashisli and then and Aksuba Mitagansazach, and he's thinking probably about Kavana Sazivu Gabifude Lord with that. And then they finally step him into a Yichud room. He starts screaming, What is it? A woman, what's she doing here? <laughs> says, What do you mean? You just got married. What? So it's funny, Berla, Berla. That Yehuda Eloi, that Yehuda Tatoa, that's this girl. You have to be able to take the mushal and see a nimshal. Now when you look at her, look at her that way. But don't not look at her. Translate the tangible reality to the conceptual reality, which is a beautiful idea. I heard this from Rebutner multitudes of times, that the tachlis avoid of a person in this world is to take tangible reality and conceptualize it and then see that con those concepts in tangible reality. And there's walk away from the externalities and look at their profound ideas and then see those profound ideas when you see that. He used to say, lahafshit esamuchosh, to undo the tangible, lahamchish, and then make tangible esamuchot, that which was transcended and non tangible. That was a big insight. So this was the insight the Baal time. But this was the Mithila Rebbe. The Mithila Rebbe, when he, the Rebbe taught them, when you're misdavid with your wife, you try to understand you're acting in a mushal and see the nimshal in the mushal. That's why Shira Shirim is Kodesh Kedashim. Don't you understand that the whole, that whole tension is really a tension which is there, a kli to understand and to finally realize true Abbas Hashem. Now you can understand why that tension is such a holy thing that the Yitzhahara works and the Sutton works overtime to pollute that, to cut away the mushal from the nimshal, totally away with a world of taiva, in which what we're doing is we're taking the ultimate scepter of the king and we're cutting off the king's hand and putting it in the mud together in the pigsty. You're taking the marshal of Kaidash HaKadoshim, of that which cannot even be perceived, and you're throwing it into the worst murkiest abyss possible. That's why all these halachas of Tzniyas and Arayas and etc. Why do you think we say Hashem Kishon the Kiddush of Am Yisrael is because it's Chaya HaIshus is a muscle for an angel, and therefore he gave us all these restrictions, hoping we will be able, therefore, to look at these things in a healthy way. First, I'll use the muscle for the Nimshal, and one day maybe you will be looking into the, you will be experiencing the Nimshal in the act of muscle. If you would read the Kavanas of the Ramban, or the Rivet, I would never teach it to any young man. The Kavanas that are supposed to be done, the Shah Zivug, you'd fall apart. I, I don't even dare teach it to anybody. Beyond what normal people are capable of doing anymore. 
But that was the Ramban, and that was the Ravid. That was the Ramban, and that was the Ravid. I'll just tell you a story. It was a Sadiq was a dinner guy for the freedom of the Tussai with cows and filling. This Ramon thing, which uh, I have this Ramon thing, which creates havoc with my internet. Are we together? Let me see your faces to know whether I'm talking to anybody. Okay. Yeah, I'm we're back. Gonna... We're back. Okay. So Reb Sadiq Taka said on Reb Leiber that he was so holy, he so much lived the mashal. Oh, the nimshal in the mashal, but Phil has that well for ten minutes. Place. Maybe the connection isn't so good. We we couldn't hear the past couple of seconds. Conclusions. I mean, Sutton, he doesn't like this year, but I have to say it anyway. Are we together now? Are we here? Are you guys together? Yes, Are we here? So, Amela, that's Dafka. This is Dafka. There, that is the biggest Nisayan of this is a time we're getting closer to the Gula. We have to get closer to Abbas Hashem and Tzvekas and the Kaddish Bach. So, Dafka, this is the Nisayan of this generation in the worst way possible to cut. Away the marshal from the and he sits into the garbage. So now you can understand why this is as a lacha. It's called mishatil avoydezora. What are you doing? You're doing that mitzvah of a marshal, which is supposed to be a marshal for chibuk and dibuk and akadish baruch as. This is the Ramah Rice Nikhil Shuba. This is the Vakus and Akadish Baku. And 
which you're not shame the Kedusha, but Moshe, which is Meyuchet for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and you're what you're Vagam Lichbesh, it's a Malka, Imi Vavayis, using that Moshe for the for a totally different Nimshu, you Nidbak to have a Passover de Zorah, it couldn't be worse. You're taking that, which is Be'etzim Kol Kulei Kodesh Kedoshim, that's why it's called, we know the Sefi Yitzhiri writes that Rabbi Avinu had two Brisais, the Bris HaPeh and the Bris HaMa'oyer. The Bris HaPeh, Was a much aged Torah, and therefore we, we were hollowed that through Shekel and Sons and Lashon Hora. And the Bris Samoy, that's the Bris of the, of, of, the, of the Bris Mila, is supposed to keep Kedusha and Tyra and that part of the Marshal too. And what did you do? You took that Marshal and you threw it, you cut it totally away from the Nimshal and you threw it into the garbage. What did you do? You used it Dafka to stop it because I by desire. Can you imagine? It's like a girl gets a beautiful dress from her Hassan the day of the wedding. And what does she do? She uses it to go on in town to lure some idiot for a, for, for a casual encounter. I gave you this for our relationship. What did you do? You went to play around somewhere else with it. Be treacherous to me. Now you can understand just in Seichla Pashut why there's an idea of Kanos here. Kanos, what is Kanos? Let's understand what Kanos is. Where do we find Kina in the Torah? We find the kina by two places. We find it by, by Saita, when a man's wife goes wayward. So he's the kina, the ishtoi, that's the first, that's a passing fashion, not so, the first Mishnah in Saita. And we find it by Avaydazar, which the Kodesh Bokha says, this kind of a naikim on Avaydazar. Those are the two places we find this Midas Akina. What is this? And it's very simple. Once again, it's a mushal and an ishtoi. The Gemara says, Rekiv at is kina. Kina is something which destroys your bones. Now, it doesn't mean you get, you know, a lack of calcium. Rekiv at is kina means it destroys your stature. What does that mean? Well, I can explain very simply. Many people attach themselves to certain their identity and their, and, and, their, and their status to certain extralities. That's what they do. My car, my house, my clothes, my tie, my shirt. Ich weiss. And this is this is who I am. Me, I'm the type that should be driving a Rolls Royce, ich weiss was, uh, whatever it be. I don't have it yet, but that's who I am. And then I see some shirt, which I don't think he's anything. And he has that Rolls Royce. What's he doing? He just destroyed my image of myself. That Rolls Royce is supposed to be mine. And it's yours. That's supposed to express my unique personality. And you, this low life has it. What have you done? You've destroyed my dream. You put a, you punctured the balloon of my self-esteem. You destroy me totally. There's nothing more destructive of a person which has a covenantal relation with a wife which all of a sudden she's out on town with someone else. This destroys the whole sense and perception of reality. It's not just an Avera. That's why the Pusik calls it Umola Mal Bashem. She was an act of Meila, of treachery. It's not just an Avera, it's breaking a covenantal relationship. A covenantal relationship means there's a uniqueness between you and me, and all of a sudden I'm just number one out of another 56. And I thought I was one out of one. The whole thing, you destroyed it. Kaddish Baruch Hu says he is one. And you're supposed to be Davik in the Kaddish Baruch Hu. And all of a sudden you're Davik in, in, in his saws and his screwdrivers and his hammers. And you don't even think about him. You're equating my tools with me. This is Kina. Kina means yes, I, you, you've destroyed me. That's why God is very angry at Avay Desori. That's why there's tremendous Kharin Af. If you look carefully in Sefer Dvorim, <laughs> there's so much as far as an Avay Desori there that's frightening. Nothing like anything else. Look at Sefer Dvorim constantly, but constantly talking about Avay Desori. Be careful, be careful, be careful. It's not just the foundation of faith, it's the foundation of our covenantal relationship. And that's why when we 
mess up on that, there's Kina. Leo Anavi is Mekane, because Acha fills the house full of the Zorah, so he says, Kana Kinesi Lashem Tzvaka, that was the Aftira. When Moshe, when Leo comes to Har Sinai, for 40 days he's there, God says, what are you doing there? He says, Kana Kinesi, I'm Mekane, this is Pinchas. I'm Mekane, the covenant of a Kaddish book, I'm Mekane, I feel how you are destroyed, and I can't relate to it. I can relate to it, and in pain, rather. That's the Kanoim Paikin by the idea of Kanoim Paikin by specifically what is the Avera of a Baal Aram is because you're taking the Mashal, which is Miyuchad for a Mashal for the Nimshal of Dveikus and Akadish Boko, Kemavua Baramam Chuva Perik Yud, and using that Mashal not just for the Nimshal, but not just for itself, but Dafka the Mizdavik and Avaydazar. That's why this is Chomer Biyaisir. That's why it's interesting to see that the chi of, of Kanaim Pagenboy is a chi of, it's not a chi of Misa, you have chorus. The chi is to destroy that act of connection. If he stopped, the mushroom is not being used anymore, is not being desecrated, there's no, you can't kill him. You can only kill him when he is in the act of coitus, when he is using his mushroom. So, that the kina specifically deals with a certain situation, not with the hate aspect. It's a double portion. When you see the mushal being thrown into, when you see kisra shomel being thrown in the mud, you react in kina. Afterwards, it was thrown in the mud, but he's not throwing it in the mud. You shouldn't have to say that the kina, and therefore there's no eter at that stage. Has to get a and yet, but whoever it is throws the marshal into a into the mud. He's chayiv kors never come out. That God deals with him. But the mekana is a person which lives the kina of a kaddish bochu. Just like the kaddish bochu has kina, but there's no din of kanoim poigim by by even of a desire because it isn't as intense. Your even of a desire isn't What can I do? It's an Aveir, it's a terrible Aveir. But to use the mushal, the ultimate mushal, which is supposed to be Nishmar as a Nimshal for the Dveikus in the Kaddish Baruch what's the opposite of Dveikus? The opposite of Dveikus is being Dveik Ba'avodah Zorah. Kiel Nishatein La'avodah Zorah. Where did he get the Lushen Kiel Nishatein? That's the Pesach by Yitzah made, Lebal Pa'ar. These Chatnus, the Dveikus, Instead of using the mushal as a dve, as a as a clee for dveikus and the in the most intense way, as the Ram explains, you took that clee of the mushal and you used it for a dveikus in a bas el lecher. There can't be anything more treacherous than that, more the begida than that. There's nothing that can make a bigger sense of kina than that, and that's what happens here. And that's what happens here. It's a reaction. You have to destroy this act. It's not destroying the person. It's a it's a ritzicha. It's not an Einish. But you have to undo this act at kedekach with killing. So now going back to the pasuk, we understand now going in the pasuk when the pasuk says by Yisrael Yisrael Labal Poir. What does the Eben Ezra say? What does it mean? They couple, they cleave to Balpur together with the Nashim, which means to say this idea of the Baal Arus, it wasn't the Ishtachvoyu which created the wrath of God. Definitely not the Achille Mizif Kermesim. It was the Be'ila Sa'aramis, and this is the Pshat by Yitzhak Yisrael about oil, which means to say the Be'il Aram. This is clearly the Pshat in Ebenezer. Ezra. I read again, He gives us Semet Bokar, Batam Hanoshim, Beheina Nitzv.
So what does God now say? I'm take the shift and take the second image. We have to hear this isn't that the, you, the, the, you know, I'm begging by the Kalach. Huh? So then, what do you mean? It only applies when you're in the middle of coitus. You don't need a shift for that. You need anybody has two eyes. What do you need a shift for? Why would they why would need a shift for? Why do you need a bezdin? Al Kalach, we're talking people which had finished and done what they did, and now we're going to kill them for the past. Now, this is a Ross Shaw. There's no din of killing this person. At the most, he has cars from different Kabbalah. So, what's made for Haika Isim Neged Hashem? And the answer is, it's supposed to be by Yoshim Charin Apa Hashem Yisrael. God says, you must do this as a Ruaz Shot to be Basalik Charin Apa Kodesh Boku. This was not, in other words, why did I need Bezdin? Because once again, you need Bezdin Shech of Gimel to verify what happened, anything which is going to end with dinner in the Fashis. But the goof didn't have dinner the function was a raw show. It wasn't because of any specific of error. This did not need us raw. I don't know if you needed Adam. Whatever beer they had, they could do. They had Bezin had to be Mavara and not to Mavara. They would give Chiv Misa. Now, what is this? This is definitely not found in anybody who learned Gemara, Rashi, Taishas. There's no such thing, all this. It's clearly not because of Avaid Zara, because the Pasuk says afterwards, and even it's smart, it means the Abayaramist aspect, that thicker not in Allah, so to speak, of Chiyav Misa. So the Pashtis, I repeat, when I learned the Chumash alone, specifically with the Ibn Ezra, I understand that what happens is this was a rush shot to kill these people for the reason of what? Of La Sors Kharanaf Hashem. The Mash, the Ramban said they didn't get to do it. Because what happened at this stage, And says, etc. And whatever happened, happened. So the Ramban points out that since Pinchas did what he did, he was Mesa the Kharinaf, and therefore Besson didn't have to go and start doing this. I, these people died, just they died quietly on their own later. Which means God took care of them. Yeah, that's called Chorus and Divri Kabbalah. That's okay. They died. Okay, you'll see the Ramban. I sent it to you. I'm not going to do it now. It's already 7.50. But this is the, now let's understand. This is the story here. The story was an issue of, uh, of Hitzamdus, of Mishatan, of Vaidazora. And I've tried my best to explain it in a, in a, in a, in a refined fashion. What the Kedushas of Bruce is, is Shemishomer, the Kli of Dveikus, the Tyra, and it's the truth. Whoever is Shemer, Eino, Bechulu, then he has a Kli to be Teifetz, Yichud HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You're not Shemer this, you lose a major tool of your Avodah Hashem. People come at you, Rabbi, why is it so hard? So, well, what, well, let me hate to say it, you still have to clean up your muddy boots. This has to be understood. This is, no, this is not a game. I'm telling you, you're big boys, I'm telling you the way it is. Okay, now let's try to understand in Lord this. What happened there? Now this we go to the Gemara to understand what exactly did the Zimri do? And then we'll begin to understand what's happening here. So the Gemara says over there in Sanhedrin. Rabbi. In other words, what we have, we have these shifts going around, verifying who is an Ayvida, who was a Baal Aramis. And then what they're going to kill them and hang them up. What happens is the Gemara says uh, at the end of uh, Pei Bey's Amid Aleph, Vayemer Moshe al Shafi Yisro. This is the second white outline on the page. Holach Shiftai Shil Shimon Etzel Zimri Ben Salu. 
He went to Zimri ben Shalu. Now we all know, you should know the Midrash and look at the Rishoni. This was Suriel, this was in Suri Shaddai. Shlumiel ben Suri Shaddai. That's who he was. Shlumiel ben Suri Shaddai. Now we all know Shmeikah Gormer's thing where it says Suriel means that his rock is God. He's a very profound person. He's one of the Nasiyim. He's one of the Makrib Makarbonis, for goodness sakes. This is this guy. Like when Ziri ben Salo is Shlumiel ben Suri Shaddai. This is one of the G'dayli Yisrael. And they told him, Omer Lai, Hain Danim Din in the Fashiv at the Yeshiv Shaitzek. They're done in the Fashis. They're about to execute people, and you're quiet. Now let's understand once again who are we talking about and what was this argument? This is long past Kairach, people. This is already Mamish, we're holding the 40th year. We're in Arvismayev. Okay, they've gone all of them to a period of 40 years of Onan, Mon, Be'er, with Moshe teaching them as we all learn together the process of the Limud based on the Gmar and Ervin, the Rav brings in the Agdama of Pirsha Mishnah. These guys were all <laughs> royal in the Vua. Rabbim thinks that in all the 40 years in the desert, they were all the darkest in the Vua, like the Chesko. So let's just understand who we're talking about. And they say they're being done in the fushes. What are you doing about it? I don't understand. What do you want him to do? <laughs> That's the din. That's the din. What is in the book? What are you going to do? What do you want him to do? You know, he's coming and claiming a legal argument. But now let's look at what he did. So he actually came with a legal argument to challenge the Navu of Moshe. Omar Zimri, Ma Amr la Hindim, Omar Asa, Omar Vikibets Chavdad El Nisra. He took 24,000 Simonites, which is his shavit. But Allah had a Cosby, he went to Cosby. Cosby was the princess of Midian. She was at Zechais, the Madame herself. Omar la, and he told her, Hashmi Li, he's inviting her for a uh, sexual encounter. Amr Eloi, no, Bas Melech I am a princess. V'chein tzivu li'avi, my father commanded me, lo tishmi, you should only accept the invitation for an encounter. And l'gadol shemem, it's under your station to have a relation with anybody less than your station, which is gadol shemem, because you're the boss of the gadolim, of the king. Amr Eloi, af ani nasi shevet, who, af hu nasi shevet, who, equals I, I'm also the prince of a shavit. I'm also big. My shavit is more prominent than the shavit of Moshe Rabbeinu. My shavit is the second birth after Reuben came Shimon. In the, and after who came? Who shlishi? He, he's only the Nasi of Levi, which is the shlishi lebeta. So what happened at this stage? She agreed. Now, see what happened to Larissa. He does cut, he gives her to buy her top hair.
it's stopped now because you're into 